art as any creative production by humans. I, I don't know if I have a definition beyond that. It's a broad category. My name is Matt Collinsworth. I'm director here at the Kentucky Folk Arts Center, as well as a senior director of cultural outreach. I'm interested in art. I'd better be if I'm going to be a museum director. Had a had an interest in the visual art for a long time, even though I'm trained in the literary arts. I fell into museum work. The Kentucky Folk Arts Center was a great place, and it was a place I always wanted to work. I've been here at the museum for 12 years, and um, I've enjoyed it immensely. You get to meet a lot of interesting people in the shop. There's lots of interesting artists, lots of collectors, uh, lots of people across Kentucky and, and from all over the world that come in here on a weekly basis. At the Kentucky Folk Arts Center, we always have a selection of works from our permanent collection on the first floor that rotates out regularly. We have about 1,400 pieces in our collection and the collection's growing all the time. And at any one time, we'll have 80 to 100 of those pieces displayed on the first floor. Upstairs, we do changing exhibitions. Those are typically things that we've curated ourselves. We don't have a lot of money to bring in traveling shows here. We can only do that about once every two years. Currently, our show is uh, folk art uh, with snakes or serpents in it. That's a very prominent theme or image in Kentucky folk art, and we decided to do a show that focuses on that. Snakes are a dominant image uh, in contemporary folk art in the state. Uh, the snakes roll in the Bible and to the fact that Eastern Kentucky is a snaky place. So that, that exhibition's been a lot of fun. That'll be up through May. We have, um, we tend to show, uh, at least in the downstairs gallery, we're the Kentucky Folk Art Center. Therefore, we, we collect and present the work of self-taught artists and most of our efforts here at the museum goes into exhibiting and promoting the work of those artists. Uh, upstairs, we'll sometimes show fine art or we'll sometimes do an open call that will uh, include fine artists. But most of what we show here is folk art. Well, I would just invite folks from campus to come in. If you've never been to the Folk Art Center before, admission is free. We're open from nine to five, Monday through Saturday. Lots of times students don't come in as regularly as we might hope, so it's a good opportunity. We're the only art museum in Appalachian, Kentucky. Uh, so if you're interested in the visual arts, this is the only museum in the region to come to. So we invite anyone in who, who wants to come. Uh, our big event that's upcoming is the first weekend in June. We have a day in the country folk art fair uh, across the street at the conference center. That's 50 or 60 folk artists from about 10 different states come and sell their work directly to the public and we'll have a, uh, an exhibition opening and a lot of other activities scheduled around that weekend. So it's a lot of fun.